Hi right, everyone, Alex Tarta here, National Weather Service. Over my shoulder, you see there's some uh, bands of light to moderate rain that are moving up the San Diego coast. That'll continue through uh, early to mid evening and then uh, taper off as the storm moves away Tuesday evening. An additional Pacific storm, a stronger one, colder one, more dynamic, uh, a little bit better organized atmospheric river will arrive Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Then more wet weather looks like it'll be uh, in store for late Sunday into Monday. So three storms coming up. Uh, the water year so far has been really dry, uh, 25 to 50% of normal. Our coastal areas where you're seeing that rain right now, those areas are missing five, six, even locally seven inches. That's their deficit. A lot of precipitation still needed. Uh, we did get some significant rain along coastal San Diego, as shown here last week. Uh, with that storm on Thursday, uh, some places had locally around two inches of rain. So far, rain's been light. You can check out the latest rainfall that has occurred in the region by using this map. The link is at the top of the page here. The satellite shows a nice enhancement or cold cloud. So satellites are 20 2,000 miles in space looking down uh, and they show the cold clouds or the ice that's above this precipitation using an indication of uh, significant precipitation when you see these enhancements. Northern California is not getting this storm. You can see on radar I got a composite and a base reflectivity so the right hand side just takes the lowest slice and the left hand side takes all elevations so it'll pick up heavier pockets of rain when inside the storm. Uh, this is a mosaic at radarweather.gov. It means it uses all the available radars to make one image. These are the highlights. I'll let you look, read through them. Uh, the heavy precipitation that uh, locally occurs will end early Tuesday evening. Then we look for Wednesday night, just after midnight, heavy precipitation at 3 a.m. to maybe as late as 10 a.m. on Thursday. So right during the commute, uh, then it'll become showery with really low snow levels down to 3,500 feet um, on Thursday. Now, uh, precipitation won't end. It looks like precipitation will be coming in Friday and Friday night. I was talking to the forecaster today, and there is some light precipitation uh, and mountain snow that will be occurring all the way into Friday night. So right now we have a flood watch in effect and a winter storm warning. Uh, locally heavy rain is why the flood watch is in effect. A lot of places will see one to two inches of rain Wednesday night and Thursday. The heaviest precipitation could produce rates of 0.75 per hour. That typically causes flooding on a burn scar and or in an urban area. Now, snow will be significant. So even down to 5,000 feet and above 6 to 12 inches. We're looking at locally 18 inches at 7,000 feet. It looks dry uh, for most of the weekend. Next precipitation is very late on Sunday, probably Sunday night, and then more likely on Monday. Here's a little closer look at the rainfall that's expected. So generally quarter to half inch through Tuesday evening, and then the bigger rain comes on Thursday. Some of our mountain areas will see one to three inches of water. Our valleys, one to two inches, even up to around a half inch in our deserts. Again, that heavy rain is Wednesday night and Thursday morning. The snow level, the snow level is moderate right now. Uh, so we see some light accumulation up around 6,000 feet, but the snow level is gonna crash, become much lower Thursday morning. And then it's slowly gonna rise Friday, Friday night. So round one, light snow, the significant and heavy snow is Wednesday night into Thursday as shown here. The rainfall rates, so this is the intensity. Uh, we're looking at locally heavy rain, mostly quarter to half inch type rates for Tuesday evening. Now that's gonna favor the coastal areas. Now for Thursday, uh, that would be Wednesday night, Thursday morning, we're looking at heavy rain uh, coming in uh, from Wednesday night, say around midnight, all the way through 9 a.m. on Thursday. That'll be coming in from the west to east. So first LA Basin, last in San Diego. A Thursday of precipitation, we could see pockets again, uh, 0.75. And some of the really heaviest storms could produce a little bit more than that. So this affects urban areas and of course the burn scar areas for Thursday morning. 
the flood watch is in effect so please go to the link above and you can see the green this is a flood watch so that means excessive rainfall could cause urban flooding and or burn scar flooding so not one or the other both are at risk we have small craft for wind over the ocean and we have winter storm warnings for heavy snow and strong winds in the mountains uh, again that's wednesday night and thursday morning when we get the bulk of the storm Weather.gov GIS is another source that you can use uh, for seeing the latest alerts and hazards. Uh, this is a look at the total precipitation. So if you're concerned about total amounts, three or four inches in the mountains, uh, the valleys and the coastal areas are in the purple shade, so one to two inches. This is including three storms, so keep that in mind. This is not all Thursday. We are looking at the bridge line fire up north. San Gabriel's is the bridge. San Bernardino is the um, line fire. We had significant debris flows there back on February 13th. Uh, and then the airport fire is what we're monitoring in Orange County. This is the rainfall through Tuesday night. So this rain is ongoing right now, moving up from the south to north with the closed upper low. Rainfall is much heavier for Wednesday night and Thursday. That's when the flood watch is in effect. That is when the flood watch is in effect. Yellow areas could see one to one and a half inches of rain. And a lot of that's going to come down early Thursday morning. We are looking at the next storm, uh, probably late Sunday into Monday. And that precipitation looks to be significant in the mountains, maybe up around an inch. And then for our coastal areas and valleys, maybe up to around a half inch of water. Tuesday evening, there is a low threat of flash flooding or excessive rainfall as shown here. This rain is now moving up from the south. The threat is much greater for late Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So again, first the storm comes in from the west Wednesday night into LA Basin. So they have the first threat as you see in yellow. Then it expands and moves south early Thursday morning in the yellow. So those areas could see excessive rainfall, which means Flooding is possible. And the rivers will be rising as well. Now it's going to be windy. It uh, looks like our peak wind will be timed with that rain. So out ahead of that rain and during that rain, the strongest wind. So even 35 to 40 miles per hour on the coast, that can cause some damage. And then those strong wind damage potential for the mountain passes and desert slopes. And of course, this is going to happen Wednesday night and Thursday morning along out ahead and with that heavy rain band we're looking at some light snowfall into tuesday night as shown here just a couple inches uh, but it will be snowing in the higher elevations up around 6,000 feet now uh, colder and much lower snow levels dropping to as low as 3500 thursday morning so we're talking big snow of 12 to 18 inches up around six seven thousand feet even several inches of snow down to 5,000 feet. The snow is not going to end. Uh, as mentioned, we could see a little bit of light snow continuing uh, with the last round of precipitation Friday and Friday night. This is the weak atmospheric river or the upper low that's drawing the moisture up and producing the rain on the current weather radar. A brand new storm comes off the Pacific, approaches from the west, moves west to east, and you can see it's a little longer, more organized, more intense atmospheric river for Thursday morning. Now, uh, what happens on Friday is there's a large area of warmer air and moisture that comes in, and that'll keep some of the lighter precipitation going Friday into Friday night. We are looking at potential minor river flooding. This is the San Diego River here. Uh, the link is shown above. And we can see it's going into the action or monitor stage, which means some of the lowest lying areas could see inundation and flooding. Now, there is a small potential, a slight potential for it to reach up to that 10 foot flood stage, as shown here. And that'll be uh, Thursday morning or Thursday early afternoon. This is the storm that's moving by to our south, so it's not affecting Northern California Tuesday evening. The next storm is going to affect all areas as it swings down from the North Pacific right on top of us on Thursday with the wind and heavy precipitation. 
The next storm, well, it looks like it's going to hold off for the weekend. So we'll, we're talking about late Sunday, Sunday night probably, and then it'll be on top of us sometime on Monday. That's storm number three. Storm number three is reflected here as well in the extended outlook in next week with cooler below normal conditions and above average precipitation for central Southern California and really warm for the Northeast, much warmer than normal. Now the pattern change, will it continue? Well, it looks like the next round of storms for mid-March may stay to the North. So the latest forecast is indicating above normal for Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, for us, not bone dry, uh, but precipitation would be light based on this forecast. Uh, the probability of an atmospheric river, you can see one moving through now, high probability on Thursday morning, and then another one on Monday. And then the next one, number four, as of now, is going by to the north. That's why it's more focused on Northern California and the Pacific Northwest later next week. These are links for you to use. Check quick map for snow and chain conditions. Check the hazards and alerts at the links above. Weather.gov GIS is one of the images I showed earlier, um, but you can also track precipitation, wind, and the hazards or the alerts on the links shown here. We also post on X and Facebook. Stay safe, everyone. Check the latest forecast before any of your departures uh, this week. And Thursday, plan for significant weather during the commute.